After Guthix woke and banished the warring gods from Gilinor, a new threat arose that terrorised the people of the world more than any war ever could have. One man would ultimately be responsible for ending this suffering, but who was this man? Who was he fighting? And what happened to him afterwards? I'm Iris Galaxy Shark and this is RuneScape Lore. Robert the Strong, being a human, originated from the world of Terrorguard, a cold planet with no magic. While Gilinor had magical runestones and essence that could be used to cast incredible spells, Terrorguard lacked such items, and instead drew its power from a mystical object known as the Schism. Often referred to as the Heart of Terrorguard, many Terrorguardians, particularly the Seven Magisters who ruled over the world, harvest the power it emits using special obelisks. While little was known about the Schism, the immense power it contained warranted constant protection and a place in an extremely secure cathedral in the capital city of Terrorguard. Being born to a family of librarians, people whose job it was to search, collect and share knowledge with others, Robert rejected the idea of the schism simply being some mysterious powerful object. He spent a significant amount of his free time analysing texts and documents related to the schism and eventually noticed something rather suspicious. It appeared as though the notes had been doctored, not quite reflecting the truth about it, and this only sparked a more in-depth investigation that would one day change his life forever. One night, his curiosity got the better of him, and he crept out into the city, sticking to the shadows. After infiltrating the cathedral, he approached the chamber of the schism as stealthily as possible. Unfortunately for him, he was an incredibly tall man, and as such, was not actually very stealthy. The one guard who spotted him was quickly dispatched of with a swift right hook, allowing Robert to continue his mission. Once the schism had been reached, Robert was left in awe. Bright red lightning arced between the schism and nearby obelisks that stored its energy. Following the beams of energy leading to the middle of the room, Robert saw the schism. He described it as a great black hole that called to him, whispering promises of other worlds and the stories that they were home to. Caving into temptation, he jumped straight into the black hole, the heart of Terrorguard, and was immediately transported to a strange new world. As the God Wars reached its climax, with Saradomin and Zamorak both utilising the power of the Stone of Jas, a new threat was brewing. The Necrocertes Dragonkin, who were bound to the stone by its creator, would experience extreme pain every time it was used. This pain caused them to enter a state of rage that only grew deeper with every use. In an attempt to stop the pain and fueled by their anger, the Dragonkin began to invade the homes of the false users, the name given to those who abused the power of the Catalyst. These attacks ravaged Gilinor, and potentially even other worlds. Nothing seemed capable of defeating the Draconic beings, with the most powerful artifact in the known universe only worsening the issue. It became clear very quickly that Gilinor would fall at the hands of the Necrocertes, unless his hero, who was, somehow, able to overcome this threat arose. Robert the Strong would prove to be this hero. While his initial destination after entering the Schism is unknown, he would eventually find his way to Kethsi. Kethsi had been destroyed thousands of years earlier, after facing a similar situation to Gilinor. After discovering the Stone of Jas and bringing it to their planet, the Mage Conclave utilised its power to lead their people into prosperity, but this, of course, led to a constant barrage of attacks from the Kin. While all life on Kethsi would eventually be eradicated, it could be said that it was not in vain. Just before the last of the Kethsians was killed, a discovery was made. Using a rare metal from the outer world, known as Bane, a special enchantment could be applied to it to create bolts and arrows with the capability of harming the Dragonkin. The rarity of the metal meant that the Kethsians could not produce enough ammunition, but a note was written, detailing the events that led to the extinction of life on Kethsi, as well as instructions for creating the Bane weaponry. This enchantment was what led Robert to become the hero he is known as today. Having harvested some Bane ore from somewhere, possibly Gilinor, and forging a set of arrowheads on the tempered anvils on the Isle of San in Kethsi, the warrior initiated a hunt. Being a librarian at heart, he built his own library on Gilinor, under what would later become Berthorpe. Here he attempted to uncover the origins of the Dragonkin, to little success. 
The hunt would, however, bring him to the doors of a dragonkin castle in an unknown location. While no human dared stand by his side, he was accompanied by Odysseus, a panther he had befriended on his journey throughout the universe. As one of the Necrocerts approached the duo, a fight broke out. The human began to fire a volley of arrows at his foe, weakening it slightly. With a powerful fireball, the dragon dispatched of Odysseus with seemingly little thought, and before he could react to the death of his companion, Robert was hit by a similar attack, being knocked to the ground. Near death, Robert pulled himself up with what little energy he had left, and fired one last bane arrow towards the creature. This shot would kill it, marking the first dragonkin death at the hands of a modern man. Seeing that their reign of terror was no longer unstoppable, the dragonkin ceased their attacks and retreated back to their castle. Being hailed a hero by all who heard of this battle, Robert earned his title The Strong and would keep this name for thousands of years, even after his death. After continuing his research for many years, Robert returned to Kethsey for one last time. Somehow, when he was there, he learned that he would, after his death, be reincarnated and take the form of a cat. With this knowledge, he decided to create a cache of his personal belongings on the Isle of San. Arguably the most notable item was a necklace crafted by Eleanor, the girlfriend of Robert. As well as the trinkets that he held closest, he also enclosed two notes. One was written to himself, so that after being reincarnated, he could inform himself of his past. Quite confusingly, Robert's cat form was not the intended recipient. Instead, he seemed to believe that one day he would return as a human, at which point the letter would be of importance. The other note details the whereabouts of the information he had used to fend off the dragonkin previously. It was left there in the hope that one day, when the dragonkin inevitably rose again, a worthy adventurer would find it. As predicted, after his death, Robert was reincarnated, taking the form of a black cat. It would be adopted by Gertrude Fairweather, a woman native to Varrock, where he was given the name Bob. Another accurate prediction made by the legend was that the Stone Toucher, or as they're more commonly known today, the Adventurer, would one day find his storage on Kethsey. Having read both notes and taken the necklace to prove the validity of the letters to Robert should he ever truly return as a human, the adventurer learnt about the dragonkin and how to prevent an attack that would certainly come. It was also stated that the Temple Knights on Gilanor would act as the start of the adventurer's trial against the creatures. It is uncertain whether this refers to previous interactions with the knights such as the events of Recruitment Drive and Wanted, or if it was instead a foreshadowing of future events. Either way, Robert is yet to return in his human form, so it's possible that he may never. That said, his predictions, however that he may have formed them, have been scarily accurate in the past. Therefore it seems unlikely that he would be wrong about such an important, world-changing thing. All we can do now, having analysed the life of Robert the Strong in quite some detail, is wait for his true return, and prepare ourselves for whatever else the Dragonkin might one day throw upon the world of Gilanor. While you wait, you might want to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my RuneScape lore videos before the Necrocerts return and eliminate them all. You can join my Discord server linked below or follow me on Twitter for some spicy RuneScape memes and very very poor humour. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I've been Aris Galaxy Shark and beware of the Dragon King. Beware.